Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I will be going through um, a trade that I took on EURUSD, which was a 3% trade. Um, so let's get right into it. So I'll be using this platform um, called My Trading Journey. Um, it's an all-in-one trading platform, which allows you to backtest, to generate your trades, and um, copy trade from other traders as well. Okay, so let's get right into it. So right now I'm currently on the one hour time frame, as you can see. And one thing I noted is that price has been bullish from the get go. Okay, this was from the 26th June, the low that was formed. Okay, so ever since then we've been bullish. So if we zoom in right here at the current price, one thing I noted is that price actually created a higher high and a higher low we had a higher high right here however we had this gap which had to be filled which explains the reason why price had to go up and create a new high before we retraced back into this auto block right here okay so with that being said let me just mark out this we had a break of structure okay and we had a higher low right here which is going to be our strong strong low okay which means this is a protected low then we are going to mark out our demand zone from here okay and as you can see price has mitigated that um, demand zone we also have some sort of week right here this long week we can use this week as our inducement because as you all know that weeks are on the lower time frame fair value gaps okay that's something you should keep in mind whenever you see a week just know that on the lower time frame it is a fair value gap waiting to be filled okay which is why this is going to be used as our inducement all right right so as you can see we had our retracement from the top after filling out this gap right here okay so we're going to use the retry uh the Fibonacci retracement tool. So we have to buy below the 50%, which is the equilibrium of this um, of this leg right here. Okay. So as you can see, our demand zone lies right at the 78%, which is the discounted pricing. Of this leg okay so meaning that we can look for trades right in here okay once price mitigates we look for our entries okay so right now what I'm gonna do is drop down to the 15 minute time frame to see exactly how price action is looking down there before I drop let me just mark this internal liquidity right here okay let me use a different tool. Okay, I will use this curved. Okay. So we have this internal liquidity from here, right? We have internal liquidity. Okay, we also have inducement. So which makes this demand zone a high probability trading zone or point of interest. Okay. And also we have a strong low, which makes it um, an even bigger trading um, opportunity. We also have this favorable gap here, which was filled by this move or this retracement after before taking out this high, which gave us a break of structure, which means right now we are looking at trading a continuation on the one hour time frame okay fair value gap 
we have a demand zone. Okay. So this high right here is our buy side liquidity. However, I won't be actually looking to take my profit there. I will show you why. I said liquidity here. Now, the reason why that is uh, buy side liquidity is because that's um, a zone where in a lot of traders are having their buy stops. Okay, so whenever price goes into any old high or old low, um, the buy stops are triggered, then price moves down to take out the stop losses and, you know, move to the opposite direction, okay? So right now we're going to drop to the 15 minute time frame. Let's see what's, what's happening down there. Now, as you can see, just zoom out here. We had um, a mitigation. Now, the current time is 9 a.m. New York time. Okay. So usually I don't trade whenever it's late. So I'm just going to wait for this supply zone up here to get taken out okay now the reason why i want this taken out is because we might have potential sellers okay we might have potential sellers up here who are waiting for price to come back into this zone to have their sales okay which means they will be targeting out what this low right here, which mitigated our one hour um, demand zone. Okay. Now, what does this tell us? It tells us that above this supply zone, we have tons and tons of stop losses because we have people who have sell limits right here, right? That's one thing I like about the market. It will um, take out the sellers before buying that's exactly what i was looking for right here okay so let's play price and see what happens okay so as you can see Price is actually moving to the downside right now after mitigating what the supply zone. Okay, so what I looked for right here, I was looking at two zones, which is this first um, fair value gap, the first fair value gap. Then we had uh, the second one here, which was not entirely filled. So I was waiting to actually catch a continuation trade uh, from, from this move right here, okay? So let's play price and see what happens. Okay, let's check the time. Right now it's um, 9 New York time. So what I actually wait for is uh, the midnight open and see where price is going to be headed. Okay, so what I wait for is the midnight open. I look for open high, low close or open low, high close. Okay, those are the type of interest that I take. You can also call it a PO3, power of three, which is um, accumulation, manipulation and distribution. Okay. Now, this is what this trade is all about. Okay, what time is it? So, 10. And we are at the 12 o'clock mark. So, I'm going to mark that 12 o'clock opening right here. It's midnight open.
I'm just going to be bored for now. Alright. Jesus. Now, before I even continue, remember what I said about the supply zone, which is going to be liquidated. Look right here. We took out this high above the supply zone. And what did I say? I said that we have tons and tons of stop losses above here, resting above here. Okay. So meaning that all this money was all taken back by 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 the big players, by the banks or so institutional traders. Okay. Now we also have the buy stops traders head above this high. Now they are all triggered, positions open. Okay. So what is price gonna do? What I expect price to do from here is to take out the stop losses from all these buy stops which were triggered from here from this high right so which means that at the midnight open i will wait for price to retrace give me some sort of change of character or market structure shift and boom i will take a trade to the upside okay which is exactly what happened when i took this trade i will show you guys the proof of entry okay so also you should bear in mind that we have the Asian session low or the Asian session liquidity. Okay. Now the Asian session opens at 7 p.m. London, I mean New York time. So this is the Asian open and it closes, closes at 12, 12 a.m. midnight new york time okay that is the asian okay asian open 12 o'clock closes which means that we have the asian low right here at this mitigation of the fng okay so we have liquidity below that let me just try up this we have liquidity resting below the Asian low. Okay, so I'm expecting price to come back down here and mitigate this FEG properly and take out this um, liquidity of the Asian session. Okay, now we are playing price. Okay, now as you can see, we have entirely mitigated and took out the liquidity of the Asian session. Okay, so we have this candle which was engulfed by the next candle which is bullish. Okay, now when I saw this trade opportunity, I wanted to take uh, my trade from the close of this bullish candle because this is an engulfing candle i wanted to take a trade from here with my stop loss just below the fng and uh, usually i target one to three so my stop my target was going to be somewhere around up here one to three trade okay however i entered a, a little bit late um, i'll show you guys the the entry that I took, I think I took the entry, uh, the entry around, uh, around 1.09110, yeah, 1 1.09110, okay, just play price, okay, here is where I took my entry, price was still playing around here, okay, somewhere around there, my stop loss was just 10 pips. Then my target, I think I targeted 1.09439, I believe. That's 3.29. Okay, let me just put this right here. 
so this is that one hour buy side liquidity that i showed you guys okay right so i took my entry let me just place order on this platform i was risking 0 0.5 percent which means it's 250 dollars of my 50k account entry was 1.0910 take profit it's 1.09439 1.09 excuse me 10 and 10 pips to buy order and i place my order right here okay so we play price see we have a retracement with a retracement back into the level of midnight open now after price broke about this buy side liquidity i put my stop loss at around this level just below this candle right here that's where i set my break even Set my break even right here and wait it for price to hit my TP. Just play. As you can see almost at the uh, profit target. And just like that, it's all over. Okay, so that's the end of today's video. If you guys would like to see more of my trades, please make sure that you comment and leave your, your thoughts on today's video. So today's video was actually just based on the open low high close. Okay, let me just use this tool. The open low high clo low close, open low high close. Okay, the market opens it. Um, midnight create some sort of a low for the day goes up to give you um, a mega structure shift retraces back heads higher low then it closes for the day okay this is actually um, a template that i used on today's trade okay now this low of the day has to kind of mitigate a Point of interest or any fair value gap it can either be your support and resistance your supply zone your demand zone whatever you can call it auto blocks whatever as long as you follow your trading plan you follow your rules you guys can make it anyways um here's the trade that i took on euro usd i was using the good funded trader evaluation account you guys should check them out all payouts are guaranteed and they have their own in-house tech which means they are profit is actually sustainable okay in the long term okay so i'll see you guys on the next video make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you haven't make sure that you like make sure that you leave your thoughts on today's video okay ciao see you guys next time